end of time. He also has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get Basil's newsletter, the opening call. You just come over to our website at TFNN. You go into newsletters, you're going to see the opening call. You can get it for $149 for one month, $6.95 for six months, which is a savings of $199 or 22%. And for one full year, you can get it for $11.95, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. They all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Basil has approximately 11 to 12 archives out there that you can go over so you'll understand in a monster way how to ride the Chapman wave. There's nothing like it, folks. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. It's so good to hear you growling again. I know. I, me too, man. Let me tell you. It's, it's so been a long, long three or four weeks, out. man. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. But well, that's we're a, back. Congratulations. Thank that's you. Wonderful. Yeah. So, market wise, Basil, what are we looking at? Right. There, there are a lot of things going on, but most important, uh, what I've been emphasizing for the last couple of weeks is I, I don't ever recall seeing so many round numbers at highs in recent stocks that have been performing very well. And that usually is a tip off for me that uh, fund managers are either saying, I've just got to get out. This is fantastic. I've made, I've done well and I've got to get out. And they just put in a sell at a particular round number and get out. Or it's people saying, I've missed the whole move. I've got to get in. This is, But it tells me that something is different. For instance, Eli Lilly comes out. I, I did this during my show today, and I just did it because I said, oh, that's right. Eli Lilly's, whoops, Eli Lilly's coming out with earnings today. I just did something wrong. Oh, don't tell me I did that. Where did it all go? Oh, there it is. Okay, got it. Okay, Eli Lilly, and Eli Lilly's symbol is LLY. And here it is, and look what happens. It opens, so it's tootling along in the, in the 680 area. Today it opens at a round number, 742.00. That was the high to the penny. Yeah. And it's trading at 697, down nine. That is a 50, almost a 50 point decline in one day, and it's earnings, it's got everything, well, it could be sell the news, but it's the fact that it did at an all-time high, it did this round number. And I, I mean, I've been going through yeah, NVIDIA, NVIDIA had a whole bunch of round numbers, 666 uh, a couple of days ago, then it spikes an all-time high, today it went to an all-time high of 697.54, it's trading at 683, and it's got 666 round number, 663 round number. Today's low was a round number. And this is at all-time high. So I, something's going on that just says to me, be a little careful. And because of that, we've just, for the first time in a while, we've started to put on some shorts. And um, the positions, the long positions we have for subscribers to the opening call, <clears throat> uh, we're still long the dollar. We're still long some small caps that are actually under the radar and some of them are actually at uh, weekly highs as we speak right now so it's not it's not a blanket be very careful what it is it's saying something's going on and i have to respect it for instance something that reason why i couldn't uh, go completely to the short side is because the Dow made a peak C and the Chapman methodology, you know, we're always looking for that D, the fourth highest peak. That's where other things can happen. And to make an all-time high and then fail at a C, that's really unusual. I could get some kind of a double top. That would be fine. So I, I suspect that there's a little bit of residual strength. And you can see even today the Dow's up 63. It's trying its best to get back uh, you know, towards that all-time high in the 38700s. But I am looking at this as... It's time for a consolidation. That's number one. Number two is I've got all those round numbers, and especially in very important stocks. I mean, I've, I've listed about 20 or 30 of them over the last week, and it's, it's amazing how that's happened. But look at this, 14 weeks in this weekly chart of the Dow to the upside. You would just expect time alone says that this would be time for some kind of a consolidation. Now, the chart doesn't know it. It's just a chart. But looking at it visually, you can see – the um, stochastic is flat at 97. That's a good sign. The MACD is good. The 9 period is over the 14. So I'm expecting just some kind of a consolidation, a breather, and we'll see how deep it is depending on whether or not the green 9 period moving average in the weekly chart, in the daily charts, starts to turn pink by going underneath the black 14 period moving averages. So 
overall, somewhat, we're looking at this saying extended, not everything's extended. As I say, there's under, under the radar sectors that we are holding in long positions so far, are holding very nicely. I'm concerned because the IAI, which is the broker-dealer ETF, is just kind of stuck. At this point, if the market's going to all-time highs, I would anticipate seeing the iShares broker-dealer had a high of 116 in November of 2021, and here it is 105. It's not that far away, but it's actually looking quite weak on a very short-term basis. So that's what I'm saying, that not everything is in sync. And my assessment is that uh, we're in this February consolidation phase. We've made new highs. They, it's starting to become more difficult and more selective. But there are other areas that are starting to improve slowly. And that, I think, is very important. Yeah, it's going to get interesting here. There's no doubt. We've been on quite a run, Basil. And, it's been uh, you know, there's, there's no doubt you're, we're hitting the beginning of February. Before we know it, we're going to be right along coming into the spring. So we'll see where this uh, right. market wants to go, man. And I just wanted to show you, I mean, Toll Brothers has done extremely well, and yet it had 99 and 100 right at all-time highs. Um, this is and it hit 105.91 uh, on the 15th of uh, November, and here it is at 98. So you can see that, to me, this is just saying that there was there's some kind of distribution going on. How it impacts the market over the next week or two is going to be very important. Right, and you've seen this because of the number of high volume, no, of uh, oh, the round, round number highs, right? And also yes. the little tiny doji candles yep. at the highs. So many, when you have these huge candles to the upside, then all of a sudden you slow the momentum down and you get these tiny, look, even yeah, Toll Brothers, look at this, four, the tiniest movement of all, like, Four points in this, or three points in a session after such huge moves, and now it's starting to pull back. So I'm just saying, it's time to be a bit cautious and be very selective. And folks, it's very easy to get Basil's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go into newsletters. You're going to see it on the left hand side, the second one down. Hit that button. You are off to the races. Basil, you have a great one, a safe one. Of course, we look forward to the program tomorrow morning. Thank you very much, Tom. You too. Thanks. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading up 56. NASDAQ's down nine, S&Ps are up five. Bottom line, it's all about this dollar and bonds, folks, okay? You know, you got a small churn on the dollar, and the bonds, not a small churn, no. On the bonds, that's, that's a textbook case. Stay right there, folks. Come back with that man, Mr. Tim Wood. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, 
is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors.